don't sign them right, the president is confident on that. That is correct. The ambassador program, as well as accepting uh, the report and adopting it, we uh, adopted all of the 24 recommendations contained in Sir Paul's uh, report. Uh, and uh, obviously uh, I am pleased because that shows the uh, commitment of the ICC uh, to addressing corruption in cricket and eradicating it in the future. And that was serious in the future because it's clearly uh, an area... I, I was very impressed with the resolve within the executive board to embrace the recommendations. Um, my ambition is to do myself out of a, a job as quickly as possible in connection with this. This isn't something that can be done to the ICC. It's something the ICC has to pick up uh, and run with itself. And I was very impressed this morning with the commitment to do just that. Uh, we really must go forward and have a modern management. To bring some closure to all of this, because it's unfair for it to be hanging over players' heads or over cricket generally, I've given Mr Gupta an ultimatum that unless he lets us know by the 1st of July that he is willing to cooperate and give evidence either in India or outside of India, we must assume that he is not prepared to cooperate further. Yes. How much resistance, if any, if any have you had from the individual members of your... I think it was embarrassingly easy in the past to either fix matches or aspects of matches for betting coups. I think most of that has stopped. Uh, and we know from our intelligence, from information we've received, from visits we've made, that a lot of the things that were happening have stopped. A lot of the approaches to players, groundsmen, umpires, all the things that were almost routine have stopped. I made it absolutely clear that at any stage I felt the ICC was, was